Hello there, and welcome back to another video. And today I will be unboxing, speed building, and reviewing Lego set number 3838 Lava Dragon from Lego Board Games. Now, this set has 131 pieces, and that comes with zero minifigures but four micro figures. So let's just jump straight into it. So of course on the front of the box there is a picture of the actual board game itself. And there's this nice picture of two minifigures playing the board game. And you can see that the yellow micro figure is on top of the dragon. And there's the nice lava dragon logo up there and the board game's logo at the bottom. Over on the back of the box, as well as having some more pictures of the actual build, um, including some of the features it has, it has some flavour text about the board game, and a one-to-one -one scale of the die. So let's just get straight into it. Here's everything that came inside the box. 130 Lego pieces, a 20 page instruction booklet, and a rules book. Now I'm super excited to build this, so today I am going to build this and wrap it up into a very quick speed build. So here is the completed build, build time today was about 9 minutes and let's just jump straight in. So in this set you get a micro figure in yellow, white, red and blue um, for the four different players. So the blue micro figure has some nice printing on the legs for the knee pads, um, a nice emblem on the torso, of course no back printing, uh, but a nice face there with the helmet around and um, yeah it's a decent piece. Um, the yellow one has similar details with the knee pads there, an emblem on the torso and this time a much more covered helmet which is nice. The white one again has knee pads, this time a red lion as the emblem um, and again an open helmet. And finally Red, who again has these knee pads, a yellow and blue shield for the emblem, uh, and again a nice open helmet. So yeah, these are some nice micro figures. The build for the um, Lava Dragon Mountain is it's quite a nice build. Of course, you have to remember this is mostly um, for a board game. Um, and not for aesthetics, but it does have a decent look with the grey and brown pieces in stripes. Um, I like that. There's these nice orange cone shaped pieces to represent lava. Um, as you can see there are these Technic holes around here at the bottom and also at the top. Um, I will get back to that later. Um, one thing that I do think is nice is that you can actually remove the top to make it e easier to put in the box. Um, and it will also make it marginally easier for me to review. Um, so again the top has the grey and brown stripes and the orange cone. Um, and then at the very top it has these four turret like pieces um, around this lava cylinder with the four lava cones on top um, and there is a big pole sticking up to a dragon. The dragon is a pretty nice build and um, you can see there's a clip piece for the mouth and um, clips holding the wings on so you can flap them up and down. It's got a nice tail piece. Of course you can't expect too much detail because it is just um, an optional decoration for a board game uh, but as you can see there's also these nice horns and this which maybe represents um, the nose I'm not really sure but it's a nice looking thing. You also get this which is just a Technic Axle in one of these connectors uh, which might seem a bit random but I will 
talk more about that in a minute. You also get this empty die piece as well as lots of coloured squares and rectangles for you to place on there. Uh, so you can place them on just as you would place any Lego piece. Uh, it's very simple to do that and I will explain more about why you do that in a minute. So to set up the Lava Dragon game you simply get the die um, and you get the 1x2 orange tile and place it on any face and the 1x2 brown tile and place it on any other face and you are now ready to play. Starting with the youngest player, each player takes one of the micro figures places it on the mountain and also takes the nine one by one tiles corresponding with their chosen colour uh, and this goes round in a circle until all of the players have colours or all of the colours have been taken. Then the youngest player rolls the die and then they take one of their pieces and place it on the die if there is space of course and then um, you count up the number of each colour on the die and then that player can move that many spaces so for example here only the yellow player moves and they can move one space but for example if the die looked something more like this uh, then yellow would get to move two spaces white would get to move one space and blue would get to move one space as well. When moving you can only move your character to a space on the same height, a space one height higher or one height lower and you can't move into a space with a lava of course. If a player rolls the brown tile then they can move their piece to an adjacent space at any height. If a player rolls the orange tile then they have two choices. They can either move any of the lava cylinders to any space on the board to block another player off or they can take this which I told you about earlier and place it in any of the Technic holes um, to knock a player off. For example, if I were to place it in this hole, it would knock the white player off and they would have to start from the beginning. And of course this is a much bigger consequence if you are, for example, away up here. And of course the winner is the first player to make it to the top of the mountain to summon the dragon. All in all I think this is a great set. It's a nice little build and it comes with a fun little game and um, honestly I do think it's great for kids. I know I had a lot of fun playing this game as I was growing up. Um, so yeah, I do really like this set. I think it has some nice features. I like how you can push um, the knights off the castle. Um, it's nice to see some customization with the die. Uh, and I have to say the dragon is a nice little build. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.